Hello, everyone. I'm Paul Ramsey, and I am joined by Marcel Claussen, who is presenting uh, The Powerful Role of the Hypnotist on August 11th at 2 p.m. at the NGH 2017 convention. How are you, Marcel? Excellent. Nice Good to have to you here. Paul. Hey, um, we talked a few years ago, and so I, I sort of remember your story, but for folks who find this video, I want you to tell me again, how did you get into hypnotism? Oh, well... The f my first encounter with hypnotism was when I was uh, 11 years old. I um, had nodules on my vocal cords, little white spots that prevented me from speaking well. And sometimes I actually lost my voice, which wasn't good. And rather than doing uh, surgery, the doctor suggested uh, maybe you want to try this other approach. There's a lady who does all kinds of interesting things he wasn't sure what she did yoga meditation she was actually a speech pathologist and uh when i saw that woman she introduced me to uh hypnosis really she actually called it that and so after a number of weeks uh, my voice kept coming back and uh, i actually developed a singing voice after that and so which helped my my inclination to uh, to do music and, and so on. That's cool. And now I'm a presenter, so I use my voice in, in many ways. <laughs> but that was my first encounter, and so I knew that hypnosis worked. I just yeah. didn't know enough about it to. What's your practice like today? Tell us a little bit about how you practice and what kind of folks you help today. Well, most of the people who come to see me um, are interested in, a, in an approach, not just a one-time fix, more of a, they understand that this mind work has to do with uh, emotions and, and energy, and it has to do with, uh, you know, your experiences in life. So they do understand that their challenges have, are not just a, a, a one-time thing. So I, I usually have a program or a plan that I, you know, work with clients with, and uh, depend, depending on whether or not uh, their, their problem disappears quickly, uh, I don't see them for a while, or they want to see me regularly as a life coach. Cool, cool. And you said you've you've been going to the you know you've been a presenter for years at the convention. Um, right. Why did you choose to to talk about this topic this year? Why is this topic important to you? Well, it's actually very important. It's dear to my heart because I am a, a an energy worker. Rather than uh, seeing myself as a hypnotist, I, I feel I'm a healer. I think we all are. And uh, my career started in my 20s. Uh, and so I've, you know, for 30 plus years, I saw myself as a person who helps other people heal. And hypnosis is a vehicle to do it. It becomes, uh, it became at one point the focus of my attention, but I see it more as a uh, uh, you know, an enhancement of uh, the healing work that I do. And in healing work, you need to make sure that you're not losing your energy, that the energy is not uh, being depleted and that you're being drawn into the drama of your, of your clients. And I think it is important to, for hypnotists to realize that, that it's not just a method or just a technique. You're actually putting your whole self into the picture yes. and if you want to continue doing that and continue uh, uh, enjoying it you need to know a few things about um, clearing your own energy making sure you're protected and uh, you know one of the things that i've done with my life is um, is uh, you know become uh, um, an intuitive and uh, what does that mean well it means that if you have the inclination to help people and you find that you already know certain things before they tell you that, you might have a, a higher sense of intuition. So I went to school to learn how to encapsulate that and to, to and, uh, you know, get more of a grip on that. And then I became a teacher at that school. So it's a school for advanced energy healing. And um, the, the, the golden nuggets from that education is what I want to present about and I want to let people know about and create more awareness about. It. And that's what this... A one hour seminar is about. Uh, I, I know it's not the same as a workshop where you really start practicing with it, but this is primarily for hypnotists to realize, hey, you're not just a hypnotist. You are in the healing field in a way. Right. 
and you're helping people um, with that process. Good. And so this is, this touches on one of the themes that I think is really important about um, so many of these interviews that I've done um, preparing for the convention is there are some uh, sessions that folks can choose to come to that are really focused on basically like how do you deepen your skill set as a hypnotist and then go back to your office and, and do better work with people. And then I think there are sessions like yours that you're describing that are, that are really more like um, kind of dual level where uh, like really there's just a, when you come to this, your life's going to get better because you're going to understand yourself better and understand how to take better care of yourself. And then when you do that well, you'll be able to go back to your office and help other people do it well too, right? So there's a real dual benefit here that I think is lovely. Does that make you sense? You got it. Yes. Yes. One of my uh, clients asked me, you must be tired after a day's work. I said, no, it actually fires me up. Yeah. Rather than tired, I feel fired. Yeah. Because this, the, the sessions are really more the reward for all the other work around it. This is what it's all about. It's actually very therapeutic. It can be very therapeutic for a hypnotist to be in the moment with your client and go into trance with them uh, as long as you don't lose yourself in the process. And that's right. what I want to, um, you know, stress and, and, and emphasize right. for, for the, uh, for my colleagues. Cool. And what to do about that. <laughs> you get some hands-on instruction. I, I will give you some, some practical things to do. That's a very important thing for me because I started actually as a, uh, healer and be, uh, became licensed in therapeutic massage so the hands-on work I'm very familiar with once I shifted to the mind uh, it opened up a world of other possibilities uh, I could even do it long distance I don't have to be in the room with a person necessarily to right. put my hands on them and not even people don't even like to have their that, that you put their, your hands on them yeah. <laughs> all the time yeah. yep. Some but yep. I do get onto different levels um, with the mind and um, sometimes a combination is even uh, even better so yeah. there are certain things that people just need to realize when they're going into this work and not just see it as a job yes. it's a profession but it is also a lifestyle yeah we, we are being looked at by our clients as someone who lives in a whole different world right and um which is not really true, but on another level, we we have more awareness of another world. Yeah. So we bring that awareness to them and make you know we're all experts in our field in a way to our clients. But what is an expert really? Someone who makes something complicated very easy yes. to understand. So not don't use too many different difficult high big words. Keep it simple and give your clients something practical. After all. You know, the term all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. We, yeah. we need to, and in a, you know, we need their participation. We, we can't let them become dependent on that, what we do, even though some may say that's good for business. But I don't, in the end, it's not good for business because right. your business becomes your job and you, it becomes a drag. Yeah. And this way, it's every time it's new, you get this constant renewal. Each session is something, whoa, this is interesting. I had this, you know, life is about experiences. The money is important to, you know, have your foundation. But I think if you choose this as a profession, you, you, you need to understand some of the things that I'm bringing into the picture yeah. with my seminar. I think there's not enough emphasis on it. There's too much about the technique and the methods and um, not so much, much about the energy um, around it and yes. what makes you want to do this for the rest of your life. I mean, yes. uh, Armand McGill continued to play, you know, do his uh, hypnotic work in his nineties. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I saw him a, a few months before he passed away and yeah. he's one of the greatest. Uh, yeah. Jerry kind, same thing. Yeah. All the people, they don't just, you don't stop doing this. This right. is something you do for the rest of your life. As long as you can talk right. Right. <laughs> or yeah. write. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, this is, this is one of those things. This is why it's wonderful to come to the convention because you get to spend time with people like Marcel who have these great perspectives. And you may have gotten into hypnotism and it's natural to, when you get into hypnotism to just be focused on hypnotism because you're so excited and you want to learn so much. But this is the stuff that really will enrich you 
and your practice to be able to spend time with people like Marcel who can get you to think about this bigger picture stuff. And it's the stuff that's going to make you last longer and be less likely to burn out and, and have a greater impact on more people over a longer career. So August 11th, 2 p.m., the powerful role of the hypnotist with Marcel Klassen. Okay, so you go and you spend an hour with him and you'll be glad you did. Thank you for spending time with me, my friend. You're very welcome. All right, Thanks, we'll Paul. see you in August. See you then.